Hi crafty friends, welcome back. Um, today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's not overly big, it's, you know, I, I found some new things which I'm excited about. Still on the hunt for some other things. So I thought I would share what I found. I feel like I still have like another bag floating around, but um, I don't know where it's at. I feel like I'm missing a bag, but I don't know where it's at. But we'll get we'll get into what I found anyway. Um, the first thing I found is this yarn. Um, it's that like plushy yarn, but it's in like this mustardy yellow color, which I thought would be good for spring. I have a whole bunch of bee swap stuff um, to do, so I thought that this would, you know, fit in very well with that. So got that. I found some new. The cosmetic type of bags but you know if you are into paper swapping then you know that these bags come in handy so I found this I only found one of these which is like a like a gingham little like I mean I think it was in the cosmetic bags but it could be like a pencil case or something like that um but it's like a, a thicker vinyl I'll always make sure your zippers work when you buy these two um, but I thought that this was really pretty and is a very springy color. So I like that. I only found one. So I'm on the hunt for some other ones because I am sure there's other colors. There's probably like at least a blue, maybe a purple or yellow, which would be great to find. So I at least found one pink. So it's like a hostess type of gift and fill it with goodies. That will be good. I was able to find two of these. I only found two, but look at these ones. So we have the clear vinyl, but it says Summer Vibes. It's got um, a parrot on there. And I think I think that these will be great for some like summer swaps. Because it's a decent size. So it looks like there's probably like at least an inch and a half on the bottom. Probably about an inch and a half. And let's see how wide it is. It's about just over almost seven and a half inches wide. So that will fit some quite a few things. Um, I don't have any summer uh, swaps in mind yet, um, but I thought that these would be good. I thought about doing like um, like, a, like a neon jungle type of summery swap um, just because I have some like jungle paper that I want to use and I love neon so I thought maybe like combining the two this could kind of work for that I'm not quite sure but I really liked these um so keep on the lookout they had one other one but it didn't say summer it said like I want to say it said something cosmetic-y I'm not quite sure like I'm not quite sure I might have said like makeup or something in those lines but this one said summer vibes so that's why I grabbed that, those ones not gonna get into it too much I found these new containers um, these are crafter square but they're just new little containers I liked the size of them they're not too big they have one kind of bigger drawer here and these are removable so you can take them out and rearrange them so you got four dividers up here that you can move around. I thought that, um, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'll, I'll use these for. Probably some bigger beads or some flat backs. You know, ones where you get like a bigger bag and they don't fit in like the little cubbies for the normal like organizer dividers. So maybe like um, alpha beads or, or something in those lines. I'm not quite sure and that way I can you know, divide them up or you can take these out and not use them in this at all. I'm not quite sure. I grabbed two of them. I didn't want to go too crazy because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them, but um, I really like these. Let's see. These are um, <clears throat> about six and a quarter inches by four inches and they're about almost two inches deep. So a decent size. I like those. They'll come in handy. I did find a couple new things that I was excited about. Um, I seen somebody else haul these. I think it was like Dollar Tree Queen on Instagram, maybe. So they knew they do have diamond dots now. Now, now, do I think that these are probably amazing? No. Um, do I love the the imaging? Not a not not really. Um, I I don't mind 
the bird. But I thought for $1.25, it might be worth it just for the diamond dots in general. Um, my Dollar Tree only had these two available. I don't know if there's more or not. But in the kit, you know, you get your typical diamond dot tray and pen thingy. Um, but these are the colors that you get. They're, I mean... They look like average quality, nothing extravagant, but I thought that the colors were nice. You get a decent amount, so for $1.25, it's worth it, I think, because, you know, you pick up these ones, and yeah, yes, the, the you can pick whatever colors. I like when they have, like, they're more faceted, and I think that you can get them with, like, a sheen, like the AB, like, holographic type of sheen to them, but you know, for a variety for $1.25, I think that these are a decent price. Um, let's look. So this is probably what, a five? So it's almost six inches. So it's five and three quarters inch by like seven and three quarters, like a little, little over the, that, that size. So almost a six by eight, almost. It's like just under that size, which is it's an odd shape. Um, it's not fully drilled. So you have your image on the back and you're just diamond dotting this. Like when it's like a full drill piece, it's even the background is diamond dots. Let's see. It's got a decent stickiness, but um, it's not super, super sticky. So. I mean, if you're going to be putting in a frame, it'll probably be okay. Um, if you're actually going to use these, I'd probably like do a sealer and stuff. But it's it's not it's not bad for what it is. Most likely, I will not use the pictures. I will not use these. It will just be for the diamond dots themselves. But I thought that I would give it a shot. Let's look at let's look at these ones. There's this picture. Yeah, I'm not a big fan when it has the picture behind it and then just the, like, just a simple image is diamond dots. I'd rather have, like, a fully diamond dot piece. But that's just me. And these are the colors in this one. Get a good amount of black. This yellow will definitely come in handy. Actually, um, blacks and yellows will be great for stuff I have coming up. So, I don't know. I mean, for $1.25, I think it's worth it. If, if there's another one, if I do end up finding another one, I'll pick it up. Why not? I also found this little embroidery kit. I picked it up because it was um, fruit, so strawberries. I can't remember what other ones there were. Honestly, I really, really cannot even recall what the other ones were. Hmm. I, I can't even think about it, but I grabbed these because it's strawberries. Um... You get your needle, your thread, your little piece of canvas, and a plastic hoop. So I thought that this could be cute. Let's see what else. I picked up some of these. I don't know if they've had these for a while. I don't know if I just now seen them. Um, they're a little like grocery list, shopping list. Um, I grabbed them because they were fruit. I have some, I'm hosting a fruit swap and I'm also joined, um, uh, paper crafting with Enos is having a fruit swap and I joined her so picked up some fruit stuff I did find some stickers um I'm really hoping that there's like a new batch of stickers coming out I feel like there's just hasn't been anything new lately or just in mine in general lately um but I picked these up for some like birthday cards I don't have any of these so I picked them up I did pick up these flowers. I feel like these might be newer, but I'm usually not a big fan of these type of ones, but uh, I I didn't mind the colors. I thought they were cute. Again, for some birthday cards. Um, I picked up these because they were very summery. Flamingos, parrots, you know, there's some fruit in there, but I just don't have these in my collection, so I grabbed them. Kind of giving me very Florida vibes. And then I picked up another one of these. I think these came out last year or the year before. I'm not quite sure, but I really like these stickers and I was happy to see one. I only found one. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed more, but they're like these like chipboard stickers and I really like these. I feel like this, these are really good stickers. 
I, I found these little B pens. They're like fashion pens. And I picked them up. There's three different um, designs. But they have bees on them. I only found one pack. So I'm, I'm on the hunt for some more. Because I think that they're cute. I think they'll be perfect for some swaps. Um, I found this ladybug garland with beads. It's just these like wood piece. But I feel like you could make this into a bee if you wanted to. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to play with these and see what I want to do. I'm not... I'm not 100% what I want to do with this yet. I found some nail files. I love these little ones. I use, I keep them in my craft desk all the time. Um, and these ones are fruit swapped. So, yes, if, you're, if your paper cutter is ever getting, like, slightly dull and you have, like, a little bit of an edge that you don't like, like a little bit of jagged edge, take your nail file and kind of file it and it comes nice and smooth. So, yes, I always keep these in my desk. And these ones are fruit, so I thought that they will be great for the fruit-themed swaps. Um, I have noticed that they've come out with more like wood shapes and packages like this. I picked up these butterflies because, you know, spring and summer. I did see some hearts and some leaves. I think that's all I've seen. There's probably more shapes out there. Um, but you get a decent amount and th these ones have two little holes. So I was like, oh, these could be used as like buttons even. Not quite sure, but I picked them up. Um, I haven't seen these in a while, so I picked them up. These are the, the little paper pads. The quality on them is not um, amazing, but for the price, I think they're decent. Uh, you get a decent amount. And I haven't seen these in a while. These ones are on, like, the darker side. But um, I like the polka dots. I do like the, the lighter ones. They don't quite... So just know that the paper is darker than here. But um, for like packaging, um, backgrounds, anything like that, I think that it, it's a it's a decent deal. So picked them up because I I've only got one and I haven't seen them since. So and then the last thing I picked up is this pill container. So if you've watched before, like I usually get like the the slim line on pill containers and we use them as like embellishment boxes for swaps and stuff like that but I thought that I could use this one as well like maybe as like, like in a one-on-one -on -one swap or I'm not quite sure so let me open this up I want to play with it so it comes in this little container I thought like oh like summery spring like kind of rainbow colors you just take some acetone and you can take um these right off so i could definitely put like little charms in there beads whatever i want i thought that this could be really cute um i've seen these before but never grabbed them um so i'm gonna play with this and um it might be like a future swap I think this would be a cute little like embellishment box idea so instead of just a slimline one you have this one and you can fit well there's seven times two so 14 little compartments and they're easily to store um, you wouldn't be able to decorate them much unfortunately that's the only other problem with that but you could decorate the sleeve I'm not quite sure let me know if you have any thoughts but I thought I thought it was kind of cute and worth a try. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. I'm still on the hunt. Uh, apparently they have like the acrylic keychains now in the Crafter Square section. And there are like a new, uh, like a beading line where you, you pick your beads and charms and stuff like that. Um, and they have more findings. Like it's like a little bead bar. So that's something that probably won't be stocked all the time. It's probably a one-time thing. But I am on the hunt for those. Um, I haven't gone to the Dollar Trees that I really like in the uh, another town over in a while. And I just don't know if I'll get to it before um, my family comes in for spring break. I'm, yeah, I'm just not quite sure if I'll get to it. But I am on the hunt. And let me know if there's other good finds out there that I need to go get. But I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.